Many people think those funny little creatures called garden gnomes look just fantastic in the garden, and I agree with them. But if they're not quite up your alley, then have a look at this next film story. It's about an artist who sculpts exquisite bronze figures, designed especially to blend into the garden and make it look extra special. Now one extra special girl, Edith Bliss, went along to see how he does it. an artist who creates the world's most beautiful pieces out of the world's most beautiful metal, bronze. And he takes a lot of his inspiration from the things around him, the things of nature. And that's actually where his sculptures look best, surrounded by nature. Errol starts off his sculptures by first creating a wooden pattern, which is really the exact form that the bronze sculpture will then take. This is done by first drawing out a paper pattern, tracing that onto wood, cutting out the wood and building up all the different pieces to create the fuller shape. So what you're actually left with is this, which is a wooden pattern for the piece. And this pattern is sent along to a foundry where they cast the piece in solid material, in this case, bronze. Does it actually worry you that you have to send part of your work away to somebody else to do as an artist? Yes, it does. I, I would much rather own my own foundry, but that's a very expensive thing. So I have to give it up to a commercial foundry to do the work, and I hope for the best. Usually the best happens. So they're really only handling the mechanical side of the work, aren't they? Yes, that's all they do. Uh, generally, the work comes back in a satisfactory state. I'm very happy with it. But, but it also comes back in a very unfinished state, and is that where your creative touch comes in again? Yes, that unfinished state has to be converted into a finished, polished state. Is that the time-consuming part of your craft? It's about 50% of the time-consuming part. The other part is making the pattern. Is bronze a good material to work with? It's the most beautiful material to work with. So versatile, it has such beautiful texture, and it comes out in such beautiful colours. Give me a silver, give me a your inspiration for your work? Oh, just wandering along a beach or in the bush or sitting so nature, on So nature is a big thing for you? It's, it's uh, all nature. Everything's nature as far as I'm concerned. Here is a piece of wood picked up on Lord Howe Island. It looks like a cloud. Just look at that. So maybe Mother Nature is the best artist of all. That's right. Well, you know they say you can't keep a good artist down. Well, that's true in Errol's case, because if he's not busy sculpting away with bronze, he's creating masterpieces out of coloured wool. Isn't it beautiful? There you go, beautiful sculptures and a beautiful girl to...